Yan. Uh, what people don't know about Red is um, to prepare for this fight, he did a lot of changing. You know, he's not the same fighter he was the last time he fought. Uh, he trained with Death Dad. Uh, the guys over there, the coaches over there, decided they wanted to revamp his skill set, change everything, they, uh, replace the hybrid Yao Yan style of uh, just going back to the very, very high level Brazilian Jiu Jitsu practitioner, just training a lot with purple belts, blue belts, even with our very own Professor Alvin Aguilar. So that, That's what's great about Ray Romero, you know. Uh, Red has actually, you know, he's known as uh, somebody who's a powerful puncher. You know, he's, right, very he's heavy. The, he, he's known for the bowl of punch. Yes. And, but what's good about him is that he's always willing to evolve, he always is. willing to learn. And now, making his entrance to the ring, his opponent from Sprawl. Here is Sulpiano Florio. Sulpiano Laurio, very heavy hands, good striking skills. He's a Muay Thai guy, but he is very good wrestling as well. This guy has very good takedowns. Um, I'm not quite sure what his game plan is tonight. In his corner, we see Miguel Alo, who is a URCC fighter. Her, uh, also a uh, part of the national team pool over there. So, no doubt about it, this guy has very good wrestling skills. And, I'm sure we're going to see a lot of takedown attempts from uh, Sulpiano Laurio. Yeah, this is going to be a really exciting fighter. You know, this guy's Sulpiano Laurio um, gets good submissions and leg kicks. Yeah. Sulpiano Laurio is originally a wrestler, right? He is a wrestler. Yes. Uh, as you can see, like I mentioned just a little while ago, Sorry. Miguel Alo is right there. Uh, Miguel Alo, who was... Uh, A long time training with a, a juniors pool or kind of like the yes. TV pool of the national team in, uh, in uh, WAP, Wrestling Association of the Philippines. So I'm sure that, you know, they've worked on his wrestling a lot. But, you know, I'm not, the question is, is he going to decide to punch? Is he going to decide to wrestle? Because Red has worked on his jiu-jitsu and I'm sure he knows it. This match is for the featherweight division. Starting off with our fighter. In the blue corner, weighing in at 140 pounds with a URCC record of four wins and three losses from Team Death Tap. This is Raydon Red Romero! And his opponent in the red corner, also weighing in at 140 pounds, with a URCC record of one win, one loss, and one draw. From Team Sprawl, this is Sulpiano Lario. Red Romero in the black tribal shorts, uh, and Sulpiano Lario in the red and blue Muay Thai shorts. For this for match number four is Joey Lepitan. Joey Lepitan, our international um, accredited MMA ref, probably uh, one of the more most exposed uh, Filipino referees here. Red, very quickly takes wow. it. Wow, throws a punch right away. He gets the mount there. Oh, pretty good, pretty good base by Red. Red has you know? he, he wasted no time. A lot on his position. He, looks, he seems to look a lot better now. If you look in his corner, you, you've got a uh, purple belt Byron um, Mubat and a uh, blue belt Rain Balibalas cornering him, which, which is a testament to how much he's dedicated to his Jiu Jitsu. Everybody knows that Red is a great striker, but uh, his Jiu Jitsu was where the cracks were in his game. I think he's done and a, he's worked uh, tremendously he's put a great those effort cracks. in filling those cracks. It's very quickly he got that out. He's just, right now he's having a hard time uh, creating space. Uh, so oh, he's going for Americana here, if I'm not mistaken. Decides to uh, bail on that. Sulpiano doing his best to make sure that there's no space for uh, Rain to land, uh, to, for Red to land in heavy punches. Oh, oh nice punch. Oh, he, he gives, gives his up back. His back. Wow. Wow. 
Red, a bit too high up. There you go. He slips there. off. You need to get that uh, that seat belt. But Good recovery, though. Here. Oh. Guillotine here. So, Diana, going for a guillotine here. That's pretty deep. Pretty deep. Oh. That is pretty deep. Red Red's looks doing the right thing, though. He's sinking his left shoulder in, trying to alleviate the pressure. There oh, you go. Shot, Good recovery Red. by Red Very Romero. Good. Very impressive ground skills by, by Romero. Yeah, very good. I know he's been training for quite some yeah, time yeah, now, yeah. and I've always been very impressed by Romero. You know, with his striking and now with his ground, his his grappling skills. He's ever evolving, this guy really. Uh, just a sponge. He's, he's a sponge. Yeah, is what he is. agree. And he's still young. He's 25. He has a lot of a lot of things, you know. Like he he's ha he has a lot to look to to look forward to here in MMA. So Piano is doing a very good job in controlling Red inside the guard. There, what I like So Piano to do right now is oh oh, move the legs out of the way for a punch there. So Piano's got double underhook, not anymore. Red. Uh, nice knee back. by by Romero. Oh, goes for a takedown trip there. It ends up landing on on his back. Uh, this is not a good spot to be in, especially with a guy like Sofiano on top of you. Wrestlers are known uh, to, uh, to impose incredible amount of pressure on the guys on the bottom. This is where they want to be. This is what they train. And this is their staple go-to moments. I'd like to see Red, you know, throw in more punches, though. You know, a lot um, historically, or you know, the past fights that I've seen wrestlers uh, in, you know, they have a hard time accepting punches. That's that, one thing about them, you know, true. they they tend to shy, you know, they, they tend to get rattled by, by punches get, simply because they're, you know, they're more used to wrestling, you know, it's hard for them to get rid of a lot of their wrestling ha old habits, and they get rattled, and they get really shaken up, and if Red capitalizes on this, maybe Sulpiano, Sulpiano could be suffering from the same kind of uh, old habit. Red with a very nice uh, sweep there. He ends up on top. Red needs to uh, get what we call a cross face, which is basically he needs his left arm in front of Sopiano's face and his right arm underneath oh. Sopiano's left armpit. He's digging that elbow in. Yeah. Very like good. good. There. Not a lot of the fighters so far have used their elbows. And I know, which Red. is a shame. You know, it's, it's one of the best weapons. Uh, uh, God has given Agree. human beings an elbow. <laughs> and we've because actually just recently allowed, started allowing elbows here at the very URCC. Very easy to cut people, you know. What people don't realize is it doesn't take a, a, a very hard blow with nice. an elbow to cut somebody. It can be a glancing shot. And that, that blade, that bone, that forearm Look at that so arm sharp. on um, Romero. Very, very dry. You can see the pretty, pretty bad. Oh, he's yeah, swarming Nice right punches. Red is swarming. Oh! I think Red, so that Red was hurt. Is hurt. Oh! Good. Good victory by Red of Romero. TJ Holt, referee stops watching. Two minutes into the first round. This is the first oh, round victory. Good showing by Reda Romero. Laurio obviously got out past there Red on the ground. Exactly and that's what I'm happy about with Red Romero. Although he has obviously focused a lot on his grappling skills, he still hasn't forgotten his Yao Yan, his striking. And, you know, he, uh, he is evolving into a more complete fighter. He is. Um, give Red a few more years. You know, 25 years old, MMA fighters are supposed to be supposed to peak at the age of 30. 25 years means five more years to yes. get better. I think, I think now, what hurt Dario were those elbows. I think it was those elbows too, Bob. Yeah. I really think uh, he did he, he did the right thing by using it was a very good position to use those elbows. Yes. There wasn't a lot of space for him to throw yes. accurate punches, so he decided to fold that arm of his and decided to throw some elbows.